2 kilowatt wind turbine for home, wind turbine which works with PV system. You know, maybe you found your PV system rather lazy in winter, rather lazy in autumn. The whole trouble with it, but sun is rather lazy in winter times. If you have like four or five hours, 20% capacity, it's max. With wind, it's the opposite. With wind, it's like 70% of production, of yearly production, is for these colder months. Which means that if we can connect wind turbine to our existing PV system or just use cheap PV inverter, we can produce energy in winter times, these times when we use most of our energy. Because we need more energy for lighting, we need more energy for heating, and that's perfect with wind energy production. This turbine is two kilowatt, uh, it's rather pessimistic two kilowatt. It's, as I will show you, it's more than three kilowatt. But most important thing, it's 3.2 meters wingspan. For the purpose of working with PV system, we need turbine with higher voltage. I know turbines are three phase BLDC motors, three phase BLDC generators, but we can rectify very easy. Rectifier for this turbine costs like $1. And we need turbine, there are, this factory gives two voltages for uh, on grid systems for uh, cooperating with PV systems. These are 220 and 380 volts. And you need to check if you have already PV system, what is the range of MPPT of your inverter? It doesn't mean that you can connect directly turbine to inverter. Because inverter, because the algorithm of MPPT in your inverter is for the current source. You know what current source is? Like PV panels, when the sun is very low and dark, they've got almost the same voltage as when the sun is bright as possible. The only difference is current. It's different with voltage of wind turbine. Wind turbine, when it's turning slowly, the voltage is very low. Of course, current is also low. But when the wind is strong, the current is higher, but also the voltage is higher. For this, we need controller between wind turbine and inverter. Such kind of controller is like from $250. I know because I helped to design such a controllers for my turbines. So $250 is quite okay price. It's with rectifier and also with another thing. Because if you have PV system, you know that when the power goes off, when the power is cut to your home, your PV system is no longer working. It's okay with uh, solar panels, but it cannot be with wind turbine. Wind turbine always needs load. We need to provide some electrical load. This is also thing which this controller is doing. This controller, you can connect any electric heater to it. In Poland, where I started, uh, we usually connect just a uh, heater, electrical heater, which is connected to central heating in home because it's water-based uh, central heating, so it's very easy, <laughs> it's very inexpensive. I don't know if you have a HVAC system at home. This must be different, so this will be a little bit more expensive because air heaters are a little bit more expensive. Because of building codes and because of whole trouble with mast tower, many people thinking about installing this wind turbine because this is small wind turbine, it's like three meters only. The wingspan 3.2 you can install it on the roof of your home but you can have doubts what if very strong wind comes this turbine has aerodynamical braking or mechanical braking which means independently of electrical brake tail makes wind turbine stand parallel to the wind above 20 meters per second which means above on the winds stronger than 50 miles per hour or 70 something kilometers per hour the turbine is completely non-existent for the wind it stands not like this but <laughs> like this to the wind parallel so how much power can we harness from the wind wind power is correlated to the speed of the wind cube of the wind speed which means if the wind speed is two times bigger the energy is eight times bigger how can you check it? Of course, you can buy weather station 
and just check it through the one year or half of the year. But you can also do it very inexpensively. Just go to windy.com, type in your address and check wind speed. Here I attached wind energy calculator for you. You can just type in your wingspan and you will have how much energy it will produce because energy is power times time. So that means if the wind gives us one kilo power within one hour, we will have one kilowatt hour of energy. If you decide that, yeah, that's something for me, it's quite cheap, it's quite efficient, but how can I install it on my roof? There is a thing which is called reverse thrust, which means if the wind pressures on your wind turbine, some of the wind goes through the wind turbine, but some of the energy is left on the wind turbine. And this makes pressure on the mast. How to calculate it? I gave you here the calculator for one square meter. Normally we calculate it for 20 meters per second. And efficiency of wind turbine on this wind speed is no bigger than 30%. This means that for this turbine we have perpendicular force to the mast 600 newtons, 0 0.6 kilonewton because normally when you will go to buy some mast tower or you will ask engineer to calculate the mast tower for you, you have to give how many kilonewtons perpendicular force. So this is 0 0.6. It's for cheap masts for lightning. They are one kilonewton, one and a half kilonewton. So they will be enough for this purpose. What kind of production you can expect? Two kilowatts in average conditions is 2000 kilowatt hours per each year. It means two megawatt hours. Two, two megawatt hours in average conditions could be much more because as you see, this turbine in real is a little bit more powerful because in strong wind, normally industry standard is 15 meters per second. In these conditions, this turbine can give us more than three kilowatts, but most of the energy yearly is produced between seven and eight meters per second in not so optimistic conditions, which means you've got neighbors, they've got trees. It's between six and nine meters per second. Why this is important? Because this is the rotations and this is the powers which are most important for inverter. We have to be very specific with inputting values for this wind speeds from six to nine meters. If you will ask me which voltage version is for you, most probably 220. Why? Because this also could be connected to cheap hybrid inverters because they have up to 450 volts input. Because 220 is AC side. This means that real voltage of this turbine is above 300 volts. This is also easy because this is also easy because you can use this is also easy because you can use safety switches, connectors, everything like for normal electrical appliances. This turbine is about $1,000 worldwide, which means this can be different like $100 here or $100 there. This means from 900 to 100. This means from 900 to 1,100. But this is offered for whole of the world. Why am I talking to you about this turbine? Because I believe this is the best value to price ratio. If you have any more questions in the comments, see ya.